Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a quick video. Uh, so I've been doing a lot of videos on Docker and how to install various uh, things in Docker and inside Docker containers. Um, so I thought I would do a video just specifically how to update Home Assistant in Docker. Uh, it's a little different than just a, a regular install of Home Assistant where you'll just use pip or something like that to update it. So uh, I thought I would run through the steps. It's not really hard to do, but you still want to make sure you do them the right way so that everything uh, goes smoothly. Uh, so let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, so for starters, we're going to stop our current Docker container of Home Assistant and go ahead and remove it. We'll go into details uh, about that further in the video. Next, we're going to download the latest version of Home Assistant. Uh, once that's done, we are ready to reinstall Home Assistant in a Docker container. And then lastly, we're just going to go over there and check and make sure that our Home Assistant version updated and everything looks good. So let's get started. So for me, uh, I am updating, uh, not a major update, I'm already on uh, 0.74.0. .0. And I'm going to be updating to 0.74.2, which is uh, just a couple of bug fixes later. Still, the process is the same. So for starters, like I said, um, this process uh, of updating is a little bit different. Uh, hopefully, you followed the uh, process of installing has in a Docker container from my video. Because uh, you want to make sure that your Home Assistant configuration is uh, basically stored locally on the host machine not in the docker container itself basically what that means is you want to be able to access those uh, configuration files outside of the docker container uh, without causing any issues as long as you are set up that way then this video should go pretty smoothly so for starters we're going to do a docker stop has uh, once that is stopped then we're going to go ahead and just remove that container altogether so we'll do a docker rm has now just to clarify, has is the name of my Docker container. Uh, so anytime that you're stopping a Docker container, you're just going to do Docker stop and then the name of the container itself. Mine is called has, so uh, that's where that comes into play there. Once all that's done, let's move on to the next step. Now we are ready to download the latest version of Home Assistant. Now we do this with the docker pull command. So we're going to do docker pull home assistant slash home dash assistant. That's the name of basically the uh, docker hub that we're going to pull that from. And so of course it had the majority of that download already. So it's going to pull down the rest of it. We'll fast forward through this so we're not waiting around for it to finish. All right, now we are basically ready to reinstall has. This is the exact same command that you use to install Home Assistant in a Docker container in the first place. We're basically just gonna run this again and it's gonna use the latest Home Assistant code. So of course, we're gonna start by doing a docker run d. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the same name. I'm gonna call mine has. Uh, of course, I want it to restart on failure. And then definitely I need to point it to my existing configuration so that it will have all that stuff already in place and it will be just like it never changed. So we're going to do a uh, dash V and then point it to my config directory users Adrian has underscore config colon slash config. Let's uh, see, next will be the uh, time zone. So we're going to do a dash E, and then I'm going to list out my time zone there. Once we have that done, we'll do a dash P for the port number, uh, which for uh, me, I'm just using the default, which is 8123 colon 8123. And then lastly, we're just going to list out the Home Assistant uh, docker hub so home assistant slash home dash assistant hit enter and that's it it should be installed 
let's go ahead and move over to Portainer and verify that our uh, our Docker container is up and running. Uh, still have all my containers there. All are running. We'll go ahead and click on Has again. Uh, and as you can see, it's been running for just a couple of minutes, and it shows that it was created, you know, today. That's it. Everything looks good. All my volumes are there. Let's give Home Assistant a second to come back up, and then we'll move over to that last step. All right, so uh, here we are, Home Assistant's main screen. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll down here and hit the uh, info button. As you can see, now I'm on 74.2 instead of 0 0.74. So we are on the current version, we're up to date, everything looks good. That's the end of the video, guys. Pretty easy setup. Um, Nothing major you have to do in order to do the update, but I knew it was kind of confusing uh, just to verify exactly how that needed to be done. This is the easiest way to do it. As long as your config is stored locally on your host, then your config will just be pulled right back in as soon as it comes back up. Everything should run smoothly. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we stopped and removed our existing Home Assistant Docker container. Uh, once that was done, we downloaded the latest version of Home Assistant. Uh, once we had that downloaded, we were ready to reinstall Home Assistant in a Docker container. And then lastly, we just verified that we were on the latest version of Home Assistant. Like I said, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see what I can get put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.